Be at one with nature to supersize and great business. My, my granddaughter's little bunny, so cute. Favorite color too, so I love it. Anyway, today our idiom for supersize your business is to be at one with nature. This is an idiom or an expression that's been around for as long as probably humanity has existed. It uh, means to be in harmony or in sync with uh, our natural world. Guess what? We're human beings, therefore we are already part of nature. What does this have to do with growing and building and supersize our business? Well, this expression, this idiom, the exact origin is unclear, probably because nature has been a part of our world and humanity as long as human beings have been in caves. So. Uh, it's not clear where it originated, but it's an important part of many spiritual and philosophical beliefs and religions and traditions. Think of um, Jaoism, Buddhism, natural American religions and, and history. It entered the Western culture, meaning, you know, America and, the, and Europe in the 18th and 19th century, primarily through authors such as William Wordsworth and John Constable. It's an important concept in environmentalism, in sustainability, and huge topic for businesses nowadays as we're trying to be better global citizens or whatever it is that we're trying to do with our individual businesses. Uh, so how do we do this? How do we go about making our business at one with nature as well as ourselves at one with nature? Me, I say you spend some time in nature every day because it's good for you and it reminds you of the abundant universe we live in, that anything is possible, that there's solutions for everything, that life finds a way, one way or another, to, to which means that we can find solutions to anything that comes up as we're growing and building and supersizing our business. So what are some ways we can do that? Number one, and one of my favorite topics, is the importance of being yourself, being who you are, being authentic, showing up every day, setting the example for other people and leading by example. And we do this by reminding ourselves that we are already a part of nature. Guess what? Human beings, just like all the other animals and plants and living things on the planet, are already a part of nature. So it's not like it's something we have to achieve, but it, it taps into our human desire to be a part of something bigger than ourselves. Well, guess what? We already are, so it's just a matter of finding that and, and building that within ourselves and our businesses. Uh, we want to continually communicate our value and how we're making the world a better place with our business to the people that we partner with, to vendors, to the world, through our brands, and to the people that we serve, our customers, right? Our favorite clients and customers. We want to find ways to make sure our processes and our systems and the way we do things is good for the world and good for the planet and good for the people that we serve. Uh, sustainable and recyclable packaging. I mean, one of the quickest, easiest ways that you can help make the world a better place and not add more to pollution is to have recyclable packaging materials. Uh, thinking about how your business can be more world friendly, global friendly and uh, green, green, conscious, zero emissions, whatever happens to be the key words of the of the day we want to make sure that we're doing it. And another thing that we can do is pay attention to our utilization of resources. What resources are we using? And always be continually improving and looking for ways to improve our processes, to improve our resource utilization. And that includes our human resources, right? The people that are helping us to build and grow and supersize our business. We want to make sure that they're getting their needs met, that there's value in the organization for them, and that they're able to contribute in the ways that that is right for them and best for them. So love to know your take on this particular idiom and expression and how you can apply it to building and growing your business at one with nature. Do you believe that you're at one with nature? I didn't used to be. I mean, until uh, I had some health challenges when I hit the 50 year old mark. Prior to that, I was just running, running, running through my life and doing business, 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 like everybody else had always done it. And it wasn't until that uh, significant physical event that I started to look at things like spirituality, which is what we're covering and focusing on this month in this year's annual challenge, the Get Your Goals annual challenge. And so that's what is leading me to this topic for today and thinking about how can I use that to make my businesses better, to leave a better impression on the world and an imprint on the world and legacy than if I weren't thinking about these things. All right, have an awesome day. If I can help you in any way, ask. Otherwise, I will be with you tomorrow with another interesting idiom. What does it mean? Where did it come from? And how might you use it in your business today?